Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
but very remarkable beside the asteroid and look here right after boom just to show you what's crossing paths so it's not necessary i thought it was a piece of the asteroid let's see it again there's the asteroid on the left and there's the light flash on the right and then this over to the left the two light spots again looks like ufos but whatever it is and obviously yes i know nasa knows about it but just showing you what we can see by slowing down the footage here's a great way to show you guys exactly what's out there to give you an idea this is an animation of a mapping of near earth object positions so why do they do that some say well listen they're not going to show other countries obviously either how they're finding it they're obviously using infrared but here it is this is a mapping depiction of the near earth objects um neos they call it n-e-o neos observations program have found over 96 percent of near earth asteroids currently known there are over 16,000 of them imagine so can you imagine the quantity of asteroids that are circling earth our entire solar system and look how far out they actually go the average they say is about 40 a week hey can you imagine so that's exactly what i'm going to do with my infrared camera is try to document where it's raining right now but try to document um more of some of the objects that were never found possibly. I mean, it's awesome trying. This is a composite image to scale as of 2011, I believe, of the massive sizes, except for Ceres we don't see here, but just the massive sizes of these uh, celestial objects. Here's an awesome diagram. Uh, the near earth asteroids discovered so the most recently discovered in 2018 January 8th and I'm not even sure if there's not another one after that probably is because they're finding so many there's a cumulative number discovered line on each side so look at the bottom line in 1980 those are the dates that go from left to right and you can see that 1980 there was barely any asteroids that were being caught and in 1998 to 2018 to today 2019 look at the um, quantity of asteroids that were being found so look at the number the cumulative number we're talking um, just over 16,000 objects uh, documented you could see in the scale in the top left corner right here they talk about sizes from one kilometer and bigger and 140 miles wide here we have vesta on the left series in the center and the moon on the right and it is to scale so that you could see the real sizes of these objects i mean wow we're talking about pretty massive objects these are called the big four the four largest asteroids a series at 946 kilometers, Vesta 526.4 kilometers, Pylos 512 kilometers, and Hygieia 430 kilometers. Can you imagine that, the size of these objects? You wouldn't want one of those hitting into Earth for sure. But apparently there's a, um, an asteroid, an Apollo asteroid around earth which would be a very big asteroid that's around earth i wonder where it is i wonder if it's ever been shown before i'm going to be capturing a lot of asteroids i want to give you guys an idea of what a big high-tech camera telescope infrared can show us so we're not doing too bad the near shoemaker captures this movie on december 3rd and 4th 2000 while in orbit 200 kilometers 125 miles from the center of Eris, covering a full rotation of the 21-mile-long asteroid. This is Neowise. First four years of data, starting in December 2013. Uh, look at, on the bottom, you see the years go up to 2016 here. And look at everything that's around it. Guys, I'm going to give you an idea of what you're looking at right now. This shows the progression of NASA's 
Near-Earth Object Wide Field Survey Explorer, NeroWise, investigation for the mission's first four years following its restart in December 2013. Green dots represent near-Earth objects. The gray dots represent all other asteroids, which are mainly in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Yellow squares represent comets. I found this one, guys, for you. This one's really cool. Check the size of the impact. We're looking at the deep impact collision encounter with Comet Tempel, they call it. Eight by five kilometers in dimensions, guys. Imagine the impact flash and resulting ejecta are clearly visible. The impactor delivered 19 gigajoules of energy, guys. 4.8 tons of TNT upon impact. It even um, changed the objects, the asteroid's velocity, um, the comet, sorry, the comet's orbital motion. Here we're looking at it in um, just my regular filter over it so that we can see more of the detail. This is the, the, the x-ray filter. It's amazing to see more of what's going on. Check it out. Look at the massive explosion on this comet. That is pretty cool. The Asteroid Redirect Mission. These missions fascinate me. I know there's several of them going on, probably many secretive too. The vehicle was to demonstrate the gravity tractor, a planetary defense technique on a hazardous sized asteroid. The gravity tractor method leverages the mass of the spacecraft to impact the gravitational force on the asteroid and changing its trajectory. NASA study of a solar sail. This is a solar sail uh, that would be 0 0.5 kilometers wide. Could you imagine this um, being able to help these satellites go through the sky? We'd see them a lot better, eh? wouldn't we? This one fascinates me. This early asteroid redirect mission, an earlier artist impression, is suggestive of another method of changing a large threatening celestial body's orbit by capturing relatively smaller celestial objects and using those and not the usually proposed small bits of spacecraft. So yeah, this would be ginormous. It'd have to go faster than the asteroid, capture it, and 